Um, Dabo said he, he got, guys, his defense kind of got up to a slow start today, but finished strong. Is that the way you felt? Did you feel like you guys won, won the scrimmage today against the offense? Or? I mean, I definitely feel that way. Um, like I said, we got to be consistent. We got to be consistent defense. Um, your offense got to be consistent as well. It's just, you know, good on good. And sometimes you're going to get got, but you got to get yours when you get got. And as a team, we just, you know, learn how to communicate, learn how to play as one. Well. Uh, come together and just going out there giving it your all. And I feel like, you know, it escalated the whole the scrimmage. It started, it started slow, but we got better, like you said, going on. And, uh, that's that's why I feel like our season is going to be. Just keep climbing that mountain and keep going to the top. And we definitely going to be a scary defense. We definitely going to be feared in, in the ACC. We definitely going to be that, that tier defense that everybody knows about. You and Tanner looked at for like a lot of leadership coming out of this season. What do you and Tanner tell the rest of the guys in your room as far as developing them and getting ready for the season? Uh, just trust the process. Um, believe in the coaches, believe in yourself, and just you know hold yourself accountable to, to watch film, to get sleep at night, to, to not party and, and, and take advantage take advantage of every opportunity because that's nothing that's nothing that's guaranteed. When, when it comes to opportunity. Opportunities are never given to you, so just taking advantage of every opportunity you have, um, trusting the guys that's all ahead of you, and, and believing in the process, whether that's weightlifting, eating right, sleeping, like I said, and just continue to keep your head down, just trust the process, watch extra film, and do things of that nature. Any of the freshman safety standing up to you at this point? What do you think of what you think from that? Um, all of them, man. Uh, Ray. Jalen, he came in, made a big tackle in the backfield, tackle for loss, got the whole defense uh, uh, crunk. And we, that's that's probably one of the highlight plays of uh, this today's scrimmage when he made that tackle and the whole crowd just went crazy. Just our defense just went here. And um, just having those freshmen knowing what they're doing, Joseph, Landon, um, they, they, they letting us lead them. They listening, they always on us, wanted to watch extra film, wanted to to be, you know, those top tier players that we are. And it's just very humbling to see. Um, it, it makes me better when I teach it and now I gotta go do it. And, and it holds me accountable within my own self to, to represent this team and, and how myself and the best of the stand as well. So, I know you were left off the preseason AFL ACC team. Is, is, is there any part of you that draws some motivation from that this year? Honestly, I haven't noticed. I'm, I'm so locked in. And anything outside, even if I was to get out by the you know, myself, and that's somebody to tell me. But, um, I'm, I'm locked in, doing my 111, doing what I got to do to, to lead this team and, and to, to be you know, the best defense in the country. And that's just what I'm here for. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a team guy first. I'm not about individuals. It's never about me, me, me. Um, coming in as a freshman and playing, it never was about me. It's just always about doing my 111 and what can I do to get the next man better than me. That's, that's why I want to lead this. I want to leave a legacy so that the safeties behind me can be 10 times better than me, have 10 times better stats than me, be those premier you know, preseason All Americans, and then become those All Americans. I don't really look in, you know, last year's statistics because it's all about this year, and it's nothing that, it's nothing that can stop me from being an All-American. It's nothing that can stop me from what God has for me to, to be the top tier safety in the draft or whatever is going to come. Me winning Jim Thor, whatever the case may be, and preseason never, you know, showed like last year. Who's the number one option? I mean, who's the number one team in the country? Did they win the national championship? No. And years before that, like, it doesn't matter. It's all the thing that matters is what goes on during the season. So I believe in my performance, I believe in myself that if I do this, this, and this, and lead my team to victory, everything else is going to come. Okay, Mon, uh, a lot's been made about the defensive line, obviously. Uh, Coach Sweeney said that he thinks that this could be the best back seven that he's ever had. What does that statement mean to you? That means a lot. Uh, you know, we, we worked super hard to, to be in this position, for him to set those ways. Um, we do everything we can to, to gain his trust and to gain, you know, Coach Venable's trust. And we just want to be, you know, the best we can be uh, for our team. We're, we're, I feel like that we're that way because 
we're not selfish. Um, everybody matters, whether he's a backup, whether he's a third team, everybody matters, everybody's accounted for it. We just hold ourselves to a higher standard to, to, to be the best players and be the best leaders. Um, and, and just, you know, just getting our spirit right and just make sure we're healthy, make sure we're going to sleep at night, make sure we're watching for him, um, bringing those young guys along because everything that we do, they look up to. So just just hiding ourselves with that high standard, I feel like. And he just, you know, he's just giving us credit um, for all the hard work we put in. And we deserve it. And it's, it's, it's going to pay off. And this season is going to be special, man. I'm telling you. Y'all about to watch out for that secondary, watch out for the offense, the line, everything. Because we, we're a good team. We're a great team. And that's all we're doing right now. You know, first coming is building that team chemistry. And it's scary to, to, to see what we can do already. We're not even completely. Do you feel like on the back seven, you guys have to maybe play at such a level to kind of help the new, all those new starters on the defensive line kind of get their feet wet and get used to becoming full-time starters at all cable? I just feel like we just got to do our one another because that, that one moment where we try to do somebody else's job, that's when the running back, you know, hit a gap on the run for you or we, give, we blow a coverage in the back end thinking that we can make a run play or run stop or whatever. And it just it comes with trust, trusting those young guys. Pulling those young guys into the film room. I'm making sure that I hold, you know, KJ and uh, Dar Darnell and everybody that's on the line that's young and hungry. Um, holding them accountable to watch for making sure they know what to do, making sure they know their gaps, making sure they know, you know, how to communicate with one another and just building that chemistry. And we, we don't focus on, you know, trying to make a big enough play for ourselves. We're selfish. And I feel like we are you know, a very uh, unselfish team. And what we do in the back end is what we're going to do. We're going to hold ourselves accountable to do our 111. And we got to trust that whatever the D-line do, they're going to be all right. We obviously know how special that group was last year up front and the, the great things they did. What is your message, though, to the people on the outside who think that there's going to be a huge drop-off potentially up front with those guys gone and the new guys taking over? I mean, I don't really have any message you know, for the outside. I feel like um, we're going to do what we can to, to, to reach all our team goals and make sure that we follow all uh, of the program commandments and just continue to, to, to build that chemistry, continue to, to be that team that we know we are. Um, we believe in ourselves, and regardless of any outsiders that don't. Um, we, we know that what our D-line brings to the table, and they know that what the secondary brings to the table, and they know what the offense brings to the table. So it's just it's all about team. Um, best D-line, whatever you want to call it, best safeties, best corners, whatever you want to call it, whoever you know they consider you know preseason this and that. Um, what matters between that white line is going to see. So we feel that we are going to handle our business wherever you know gets thrown at us. And every team that we play week, week, week in, week out, we're going to be ready. So.